Hi guys, Dom Ngo here and this is the Q3 3D printer from 3D System. Q3 because it's a third generation of the printer that looks like a cube. Now this one here is a dual extruder. It means it can print from two sources of filaments at the same time. Do you see them? Exactly. This one has a great design so that the filament when loaded still make it very compact. On the side here there is a cartridge that holds the filament inside and it fits in this holder perfectly. The same for the other side. And on top here you can also very easily install the filament onto the print head. Now that's how a 3D printer works. The print head pulls the plastic string, melt it, and extrude that onto the platform underneath here to form the 3 object. Now the platform here is removable, and that means it's very easy for you to clean it after a print or lace it with glue before a print. Now on the front here, the printer has a small touch screen for you to manage its function, including printing. And on this side here, it has a USB port for you to print directly from a thumb drive. A two gigabyte thumb drive is included, but you can also use any thumb drive you want. Now the thing I like the most about this printer is the fact that it can calibrate itself. Basically, it can make sure that the print platform is at the perfect distance from the print head above and also perfectly level. The second cool thing is that the print platform here can move up and down, also backward and forward, allowing the print head above to move only sideways. And that mechanism allows the printer to be small in physical size, but can still print pretty large objects. And speaking of objects, the printer works really well printing small objects like this lovely Toro right here. But when it comes to bigger objects like this vase, it was a hit or miss. For example, I tried to print another vase this one right here. Now this one is a 15 hour job, so I left the printer working overnight. When I came back in the morning, well it made this at first, and then it made all this. Not what I wanted. Now the thing is that it actually made all this much perfectly, and then it messed up the rest. And that means I had no idea what happened. It worked, then it didn't work. One thing for sure though, this is a lot of filament being wasted and that's not cool because each of the cartridges costs $50 and only has enough material to bring about 5 of these large objects. So what I'm holding here is about $10 worth of material. And that's of course after the cost of the printer itself, which is $1,000. Now that's not cheap, but it's also not too expensive for a dual extruder. So you know, the Q3 here is quite a good printer to have. It's fun and very easy to use, even though it's a bit noisy. But remember, it might cost you a lot down the line just for the material alone. For more of the printer here, check out my full review at CNET.com. Personally, I liked it because at least it reminded me of my lovely hair or the like of which. And that's because I'm Doug Ngo and this has been the first look at the Q3 3D printer from 3D Systems. I'll make a quick out of this.